Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Smith. Once you've watched this short video, you're going to know a little bit more about me. You'll know why I do what I do and why I'm an expert at it. And hopefully, you'll feel more confident in what you'll learn from me and also about the help that you can receive when working with me. Now, as you may or may not know, besides my training in functional medicine and nutrition, I'm a chiropractic physician. I came to chiropractic through sports injuries. Now, I want you to take a second. I want you to imagine that when you were younger, you had heard about athletes using chiropractic to heal injuries and improve their performance. Then, when you were a college athlete, you suffered an injury and were helped through chiropractic care, and because of that, you decided to enroll in chiropractic school. And when you graduated and began practice, you wanted nothing more than to be the sports chiropractor, helping athletes and others with their aches and pains. However, since you had so much success with helping people in pain, you began to see more people with chronic pain, with conditions like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, and others. You got that? Now, next, I want you to picture yourself being warned by other doctors not to treat people like this because they're nuts. Don't treat fibromyalgia. Don't treat chronic fatigue. These people are crazy. That's right. You learn that some doctors will say people that they can't help aren't really sick, that the patients are just nuts. Now, in this scenario, you're a stubborn guy, just like me, and when you heard that crack about those people being nuts, it made you want to help them even more. So, even though you're relatively successful treating people with these complicated conditions with just chiropractic care, you knew that there had to be something else that could help even more. So you began to study nutrition, but you realized that most nutrition approaches were just like medicine. Take this herb for this symptom, take that vitamin for that symptom. They focused on alleviating the symptoms, not fixing the problem. Finally, you came across an interesting seminar called Functional Endocrinology by a doctor who went on to write best-selling books on thyroid conditions and brain health. Now, this sem seminar talked about getting to the root of the problem, not just addressing the symptoms. It was about an approach called functional medicine. Well, needless to say, it blew your mind. So for the next several years, you took seminar after seminar, workshop after workshop, online course after online course on functional medicine and functional neurology approaches to handling fibromyalgia, thyroid problems, chronic pain problems, autoimmune diseases, fatigue, and even brain health. Wow, you put in an awful lot of work, didn't you? Now finally, you're ready to help the hopeless, give people their lives back, to change the world. Then what happened? You learned that not everybody wanted your help. You'd spent thousands of dollars and thousands of hours learning how to help people with functional medicine and learned that not everybody wanted your help. It didn't matter that you may have had the answer to their problems that had been bothering them for years. You found out that not everyone was willing to make changes in their diet, no matter how small. Not everyone was willing to do 10 minutes of brain exercises a day. Not everyone was willing to pay for testing that might give the clues that would help them fix problems that have been bothering them for years and years. And not everyone was willing to pay for a few months worth of supplements that could change their lives. You heard people say, what do you mean? My insurance doesn't pay for all of this? You mean I actually have to do something? You're not just going to wave a magic wand and cure me for a $5 copay? Now you've spent all of this time and money and effort and energy only to learn that not everybody wants to do what it takes to get well. Maybe you were naive, but you were blown away, just like me. Now, what were you supposed to do now? You would set out to help people that most doctors couldn't help, people who other doctors brushed off as just being nuts, and a lot of them didn't even want help. That was a, that's a big slap in the face to you. So. What's next? What are you going to do? You could tuck your tail between your legs and go back to just cracking backs and taping ankles, but no. Imagine again that you're stubborn, just like me. You see, I'm of Polish, German, and Irish descent. You can't put together a much more stubborn combination. So, stubborn you decided to just keep on working, keep on studying, and telling the story, and help the people that wanted to be helped. And what happened when you kept plugging along? Despite the disappointment of dealing with people who don't really want to get better, the satisfaction of changing the lives of those that do want to get better has made all the studying, lecturing, effort, and disappointment worth it 1,000 times over. Can you imagine that? Were you able to put yourself in those shoes? I hope so, because that's my story. That's my journey.
That's what I've gone through to get here. Now, once you hear what I'm going to tell you about functional and lifestyle medicine, you'll have a decision to make. This approach might be right for some of you. For others, it might not be. Some of you might decide that this is what you've been waiting for all your life and say, Doc, I've got to see you. Some of you might identify with what I'm telling you, but you're not quite ready yet, and that's okay. Being ready to get well is a big part of the process. But whatever phase you're in, thank you for listening and taking the time to learn about me.